All right, well, welcome back to a uh, new little short episode here of Maxim Outdoors for my uh, covered bridge series. So this week I'm taking you to Washington County. And uh, if you're like me, you probably don't realize that uh, Washington County has one of the most uh, highly dense areas for covered bridges in all of Pennsylvania. Um, I believe the county holds about 23 different covered bridges. Here in Pennsylvania, I didn't talk about this last time, but there's around 200 covered bridges here in the state. So anyway, here's a look at uh, today's target, Erskine Bridge, built in 1845. And another little fun fact is this is one of the oldest covered bridges in Pennsylvania. And uh, just to give you a little bit more context, we're along Erskine Road here, and uh, just about a mile or two away from the West Virginia border. So let's uh, take a look inside. This is relatively small cover bridge but uh we'll do the, the walk through just like we did at uh banks cover bridge so he's, as you can see if you remember from the last video banks covered bridge was uh a burr arch truss which uh kind of has like the the rounded arch that goes through the the center of the bridge this one obviously does not have that same feature this is uh known as a queen post as you can see like the the main center beam isn't uh, reinforced by these diagonal beams. So this is a queen post here and uh, a little bit different from Banks uh, covered bridge. This one is red, as you can see inside and outside. And uh, it has some windows, four windows, of course. So a cool little view here of the Erskine covered bridge. And I'll give you a, a view or two from uh, down below as well. Well, here's a different perspective of the Erskine Bridge as I'm standing right alongside the middle Wheeling Creek here. Like I said, we're just about a mile away from the West Virginia border. Looking up at uh, Erskine Cover Bridge, one of the oldest in the country and the oldest cover bridge here in Washington County. And you might be asking, why did they build these cover bridges back in the 1800s? Well, the main reason obviously was to cross a waterway like this. As you can imagine, horse and buggies would have came across here way back in the 1800s. And uh, the reason for covered bridges being covered is if they weren't, these bridges would essentially be rotten away within just a couple of years. So they decided to put a roof on them and uh, they lasted much longer like this one from the 1840s. So a bit of a different view here of the covered bridge. And then another thing I did read, most of these covered bridges don't have windows like this. And I actually learned this from uh, a wandering woodsman. He said that uh, they don't have windows normally because horses would travel across these bridges and get spooked when they looked down over the waterway. So windows aren't uh, normally part of these covered bridges, but that uh, is kind of a cool theory. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but kudos to uh, the wandering woodsman. He's covered a lot of covered bridges on the uh, eastern side of the state so if you want to see some cover bridges from like the uh, Lancaster area as well as out towards like Philadelphia he has a lot of videos on that so we're gonna be covering the uh, western side of Pennsylvania for now so another look here at uh, the Erskine covered bridge Well, before we hit the road, I will give you one last walk through here at Erskine Bridge and uh, show you some of the views of the Middle Wheeling Creek out uh, these windows here. So uh, here's another good view at the Queen Post. I will post an image down below showing you the difference between these King Posts and Queen Posts that you will see so commonly throughout Pennsylvania in these covered bridges. Take a look out the window here down at the middle Wheeling Creek as it heads on down to West Virginia. Like I said, just about a mile away from here. Another view out this side window here. Bit of a better view of the middle Wheeling Creek. I know I said before about uh, the wandering woodsman doing covered bridges. He's the reason I'm out here doing this. He gave me the inspiration to check out uh, some of these forgotten, you know, gems here. Just a couple minutes away from my home. Never been here before, so definitely cool to see. So. If you're uh, in the in the need of seeing some more covered bridges, Wandering Woodsman has a ton of them out, uh, in like the eastern part of Pennsylvania, Lancaster and 
like the Philly area. So make sure you check him out. Like I said, he's uh, kind of the inspiration I'm doing this. He has a lot of great hiking videos and can tell history a lot better than I can about these cover bridges. So take another look at uh, one of these windows here. Not as scenic from this view, but yeah, Erskine Covered Bridge, one of the oldest in the United States and the oldest here in Washington County. I'm gonna try to uh, tackle five different bridges today. So we'll have a lot of new covered bridge videos coming out here in the future. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you're new, new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about my uh, covered bridge series. Like the video. And uh, if you wanna see some behind the scenes kind of photos and stuff, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. All right guys, signing out here from Erskine Cover Bridge. All right, and to wrap up the video, we're gonna be driving through Erskine Cover Bridge here with every uh, cover bridge tour that we'll be doing. If we can, we'll be driving through them. So uh, here is the final shot of the bridge here as we head on through. guys thanks for tuning in for yet another uh, cover bridge make sure you like subscribe and comment on the channel as sam eats your slim jim